Yo, GMGM, GM. what is good folks? Got a Jungle Freaks NFT video for you today from Satoshi Aoki. Folks, just want to fully disclose, I am a 10x freak holder. I just actually staked my 10 Jungle Freaks today. Today, folks, we are going to be going through the actual Jungle Freaks on OpenSea. We're going to be talking to you about the Jungle Token, giving you a bit of an overview about that one. Going to be taking you through the actual Jungle Freaks sort of dashboard area and a little bit about their roadmap. Going to be talking to you a little bit about the Jungle Freaks Motor Club, my thoughts and where I hope they're kind of going to be going with that actual side of the project. We're going to be checking out the social medias and a few actual partnerships that Jungle Freaks have actually gotten on board with semi recently as well as just some closing thoughts about Jungle Freaks. So folks, Jungle Freaks, we will start with the open sea. We do have a current floor price of 0.4. Folks, if you don't know anything about Jungle Freaks, you don't know anything about NFTs and you're thinking about getting into investing, absolutely cool to do that, but you gotta always remember to do your own research before investing. These videos are not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but what I would say about this current floor price, given the fundamentals that I'm very much aware of being highly invested in this project is that Folks, I would be very surprised if we see this 0.4 floor price for much longer. Honestly, I think once a few of these roadmap pieces are rolled out, which they are being rolled out right now, you'll be very lucky to actually pick up one of these Jungle Freaks for under one Ethereum in the next coming months. So while we are just sort of scrolling through these sort of floor Jungle Freaks, I do actually just want to mention the elephant in the room. Now, we can't deny that there was some sort of controversial stuff going on with Trosley and the actual images that were drawn by the artist some years ago go in his line of work. Now, I think the way that the actual Jungle Freaks team came out and actually approached this news was very, very professional. They came out, wrote some detailed articles, they actually made a video on YouTube, and they talked about that. We're not going to go into detail about exactly what was said or anything like that, but it is of my opinion that they did the right thing. They came out and people just can't be held accountable for every little, little mistake or bad thing that they did, okay? That's to assume you actually thought it was a bad thing or a mistake. You know, we are not perfect as human being and I think given what they have done the professionalism they have shown they have really turned the corner and turned that initial negative thing into a positive I do actually think it's really important to note as well that there was actually a scam that went on around the same time as the controversial art pieces by Trosley and a lot of Jungle Freak owners were actually sort of out of pocket of Ethereum now the prince and the team behind Jungle Freaks didn't have to do this but they actually went out and reimbursed everyone that lost money in that scam when it was no fault of the Jungle Freaks team at all. And I think that, along with many other things, just says wonders about this team and where they are going in 2022 and beyond. Alrighty folks, so we'll move on to junglefreaks.io. Now, if you're after any of the links or information on here, guys, they will all be in the description of this video. So if we actually go down and have a bit of a look at the roadmap, guys, we've got the free economy, okay, with the jungle token and staking. That actually just launched today or just yesterday, perhaps if it's in my time zone. And I've actually gone ahead and actually staked all of my 10 jungle freaks to actually get that jungle token. So that has already been ticked off. We've got the JF DAO, guys, which is gonna be the voting mechanism for the community, okay? We've got the metaverse in 2022, the Jungle's online presence, which is in the works at the moment. We've got the Jungle Freaks Motor Club, which just looks absolutely fantastic from an aesthetic standpoint. And I only recently learned that it was actually going to be turned into a racing game, which we're going to be covering in a bit more detail in just a moment. We've got the future generative projects as well, which actually looks really, really awesome. And we've got this interesting little secret here on number six. We've got the Real Life Freaks events, which is ongoing, which a lot of the high tier NFT projects such as Board Ape Yacht Club are actually doing with their communities. And we've also got the Freaks lab here, which is undisclosed and it's a top secret part of the Jungle Freak plans, which is yet to be announced. And folks, if we just take a moment to have a bit of a look at the Jungle Token overview here, we've got 20% going for community rewards, we've got 63% for staking, 8% for the team, and 9% for the JF DAO. The Jungle Token is the token of the Jungle Freaks ecosystem. The Genesis Jungle Freaks collection, that's the original 10,000, and the JF Legendary Vault assets will earn Jungle when staked into the staking contract. The only way at the moment to earn Jungle is by owning and staking a Genesis Jungle Freaks collection NFT and or JF Legendary Vault. And I just do want to say this is actually fantastic to see that you actually need to get a jungle freak to actually earn the jungle token because it just stops a lot of sort of pump and dump. I think if people were able to pick this up off an exchange right away or sort of were able to take it straight from the vault and then just drop it onto an exchange, I think a lot of people would just be doing that and it would actually devalue the token. So I think the fact that they are keeping it within the jungle freaks ecosystem is a very smart move to encourage people to hold more jungle freaks and give it a bit more valid utility. And in terms of the actual utility behind the jungle token, there are a 
for you guys. We've got the Jungle Freaks Motor Club Mint. We've got the Gen 2 Mint. JF Vox Models Mint. We've got the JF 3D Crypto Avatars Mint. We've got the JF Token Dashboard, Metaverse Assets, and Wearables. And it also will be acting as a governance voting token within the JF Social DAO. Another super important thing to note as well, folks, is 70% of all jungle will be burned in asset purchases and the other 30% will be allocated to the DAO Vault. And it is also really important to note that there will be a total supply of 295 million jungle token. Now, there is actually an important disclaimer that I do want to bring your attention to. So Jungle has no other functionality other than within the Jungle Freaks ecosystem. The developers do not provide or intend to provide a secondary market for the Jungle token. So, you know, by what I understand here, there is a chance that maybe it won't be available on exchanges in the future. But do remember, folks, you can actually use your Jungle token to purchase NFTs, which you will be able to sell on a secondary market. And if we move on to talk about the Jungle Freaks Motor Club, I am super duper excited about this one. It is going to be a game played in the metaverse, okay? There isn't much information about the actual play to earn mechanics or how the earnings are gonna work or anything like that, or even anything to do with the gameplay yet. It is still pretty early stage. My personal hope is that there is something unique about this driving experience. I'm thinking of something like, well, maybe you can commandeer a car with like two or three freaks and each freaks have a different role. Maybe based on the weapons your Jungle Freaks has, you might be able to use those weapons so if you've got like a rocket launcher in the back you might be able to sit out the back of a ute and actually fire the rocket launcher at some other jungle freaks vehicles from the motor club as the race is going on maybe there's some items and things like that sort of taking after a bit of a mario kart vibe i think that is something that the jungle freaks could possibly do to really take this racing game and the functionality to the next level to really stand out because if i'm being completely honest with you in my personal opinion this is the most bullish thing that jungle freaks have going for them at the moment if they can nail the head on this racing game and get people excited people are gonna want to own a jungle freaks they're gonna want to own these nfts they're gonna want to have a car they're gonna want to pay big bucks for these jungle freak motor club nfts on the secondary market and that is going to be one of the most bullish factors in my opinion for the jungle freaks community on the whole Alrighty folks, so this is the actual Jungle Freaks dashboard here and how it looks. It looks pretty sleek, pretty simple, okay, I do have my 10 Freaks here. I'm getting a total of 100 Jungle per day, 10 per Freak. Then if we scroll over to the actual staking section here, guys, you've got an option to also add Jungle to MetaMask here, okay? To stake your Jungle Freaks, guys, you will need some Ethereum, okay? I think I paid around $400 in ETH gas fees to stake my 10 Freaks there. I've currently got 31.10 Jungle for the current day. As you can see here, there's the stake section here and the unstake section here. And if we scroll down a little bit further, you can also stake your legendary assets as well as unstake them here. Alrighty folks, let's just take under a minute to hear from today's sponsor of the video. Big shout out to Double AX Exchange. Guys, this is one of my biggest go-to exchanges. They do have top quality products here and you can actually buy a vast array of cryptocurrency assets on an extremely easy to use user interface. Double AX is currently running the third phase of their launch pad. You can actually buy looks and ray token with 50% off. Every project's token subscription can be divided into AAB payments and USDT payment, and users can participate in different token project payment methods respectively. Here is all the information you will need to participate in this 50% off sale. And once you have decided whether you will be getting involved with AAB or USDT, you can head on over to the actual AAX launchpad. I will leave an affiliate link in the top of the description for this one, folks. It's free to join up, and you can get some great discounts through their launchpad, so I highly do recommend you do get involved in this one and as you can see over here these are the ones that are currently live with looks token here just up the top and ray just underneath and as of january ladies and gentlemen network and jungle freaks have actually formed a partnership and for those of you that don't know network is a metaverse built on the blockchain that enables users to monetize their content via nfts and virtual land and this is a pretty big partnership ladies and gentlemen we got 91.3 k followers on network okay it's a multi-chain metaverse on the blockchain chain guys and again you can monetize your nft through here so really good to see that partnership there as well Alrighty, folks, so drop a like on this video if you want to spread the love of Jungle Freaks worldwide. Honestly, I think this is one of the most underrated projects in the NFT space right now, and I think this 0.4 floor price is really, really undervalued. Honestly, guys, spread the love. Let me know if you enjoyed it, and make sure you do subscribe to the channel for more NFT videos. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.